Lincoln believed Southern tempers would cool down. But if they did not, he said, it was a president's duty to maintain the existing government. Secession was not even debatable. Secession, Lincoln says, is the essence of anarchy. And this is a man who's built his whole life on devotion to law, to order, to self-discipline. And secession, I think, stri strikes him personally as well as politically. But until he took the oath in March, Lincoln had no power to act. One thing he could change, however, was his appearance. He began to grow a beard the idea may have come from a letter he received just before the election from a little girl, Grace Bedell. Dear sir, if you let your whiskers grow, you would look a great deal better, for your face is so thin. All the ladies like whiskers, and they would tease their husbands to vote for you. Grace Bedell, age 11. I think he became convinced himself that the kind of lanky, raw-boned look of his face uh, would be improved. It would fill out if he grew a beard. Uh, I think he thought it would make him look uh, more mature, more statesmanlike, and less ugly. In February 1861, Lincoln roped the family trunks himself, labeled them A. Lincoln, the White House, Washington, and boarded a special train for the Capitol. Springfield residents came out to see him off. I now leave not knowing when or whether ever I may return, with a task before me greater than that which rested upon Washington. Lincoln, with no administrative experience of any kind, would have to govern a country that seemed determined to go to war with itself. <laughs> 